Morning guys, it's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. Well, I've just come out of the dentist and the saga of the teeth continues. As you can see, I still haven't got my teeth in yet. Apparently, they've got to be sent off again to have some clasps put on them or something like that. I don't know. But apparently it continues anyway. So I've still not got my false teeth. I've had another, so this was fitting number two. I had the first fitting. Then I've had the second fitting, which is just now. And they seem to fit all right and they look all right. And then they need to send them off to have clasps put on or something like that. So I'm just jumping in the car now, guys. Here we go, I'm in my car now. So as you say, these the teeth are still missing. And this is, and the next date is going to be, I've just got my cards here, I'll turn the radio off, uh, the 3rd of April. But I just want to prove something here, guys, yeah? You remember last week when I turned up a week early, the 15th, and they said I shouldn't have been there? I took my card with me yesterday. I should have been there. They cancelled the appointment and they didn't tell me. So look. I should have been there on the 15th, so it wasn't my fault. So keep this in your diary, guys. I'm now the 3rd of the 4th at 9.30 in the morning. Now, that's D-Day when I get me teeth, apparently. So they're telling me. So I'm just going to pop this on the uh, the iPad holder thing. Once I, once I took it off the holder thing here. So the saga of the teeth continues. They look quite good, to be fair. I put them in, uh, and they look quite good, and they fitted all right, but apparently they were just made of wax or something like that. And then what they have to do is they then have to uh, do something else and put some clamps on it to make sure they don't fall out. So they look quite good, but they were dead loose. So anyway, so I'm going to head back towards the arcade now. So, we want to have a drive together. So. Uh, I'm just going to turn around now. Then we'll have a chat as we go in. But uh, I'm not going to turn the camera around because for some reason, on my iPad, when I start recording, I can't turn it round whether it goes to front or back i have to stop recording then start recording again but i'm going to try and do this all in one take because it makes life a lot easier because i don't even bother to cut it together so i'm here at uh it's a uh, newton drive health center for those of you who don't know where newton drive is that's just at the back of uh, the hospital. It's kind of between the back of the Victoria Hospital and Grange Park. I think it's on the edge of Grange Park. It could actually be in Grange Park, I'm not sure. If anybody knows, is Newton Drive Dentist in Grange Park, which is on the edge of Grange Park? Uh, so I'm just heading towards the roundabout now. Uh, I'm trying to see what road I'm on. It would be useful if I'd actually do what road I'm on. I know the way to go, I just don't know what the road's called. So I'm heading towards the hospital now anyway. So I've got the Victoria Hospital on my left hand side now. So I'm at the roundabout. Which is the one which is right by the Victoria Hospital. Now, it was actually new to drive us on then. No, I'm on North Park Drive now. So North Park Drive, and the, I'm just passing the hospital on my left-hand side. So I'm just passing the outpatients department, which is on my left-hand side, and the uh, da, 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 the A and E's just around the corner. Okay, and the uh, uh, occupational health, uh, health and safety centre. Apparently, that's what's right in front of me. No idea what that's all about. Okay, I'm now going to take one of them shortcuts. If you look through the back window, you can probably see where I've been. So I'm just taking a shortcut now, which takes me on the uh, the side of Stanley Park, where Stanley Park's on my left-hand side. I'll tell you what the road is as soon as I see the side. It's 
still got sign yet. It heads towards to Whitegate Drive anyway. It brings me out to Whitegate Drive. And then across Whitegate Drive. So at the moment, on my left-hand side is the, uh, the Stanley Park. And in about a minute's time, on my right-hand side will be the Ninar station, the ambulance station. Uh, I don't know what road this is called. Those locals are probably shouting at me at the moment, <coughs> telling me what road I'm on. As I said, left hand side is Stanley Park, and in about 30 seconds time, the right hand side will be uh, Milton Avenue, I've just gone past, if that means anything to anybody. It doesn't mean anything to me. And I've gone past a some kind of clubhouse, could be a golf course clubhouse maybe. And on the right hand side of me now is the Nienar station, the Blackpool Fire Station. I'm just stopping over the lights, are quite nice houses around here. The big chunky houses are proper big houses. So I've got my breakfast for the day. Have a mustard. On brown bread. Gonna have brown bread, gonna be healthy. That was Forest Gate. The road I've just drove down was Forest Gate. I've just seen a sign. So I'm now on Forest Gate. And I'm just about to cross over Whitegate Drive. Well, as soon as I've hit this kind of silly turning thing here. This is definitely a novel way of doing a driving with Chris. I tell you where I'm going, but I don't actually show you. It's like the reverse of what we normally do. That's what I call it. I call it driving with Higgins backwards. So we're on now on Hornby Road. That sounds like I actually knew where I was then. I just saw the sign. So we're just driving up Hornby Road at the moment. A lot of ex-hotels around here. I know this area. I've done a lot of canvassing around this area. And there's a lot of HMOs and houses of multiple occupancies and shared stuff around here. But a lot of these were predominantly uh, ex bed and breakfasts back in the day. So I'm, now, I'm staying on Hornby Road. Now I'm going to the arcade now. I'm just crossing over Park Road and I'm still on Hornby Road. Hello, Hello. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, sir. How are you? How can I help you? Actually, I'm calling from Hornby Road, network provider. Okay, okay, I won't be interested if I'm back. Bye. Okay, that's one of them drop call people. I hate that type of things. They shouldn't even be phoning me because I put my telephone on the uh, the, the telephone preference service, which means I shouldn't be having these uh, drop calls. But as soon as you, uh, you hear somebody with a foreign accent, you know immediately he's trying to flog you something. Do you know what annoys me about these drop calls is they'll phone you up and say, do you want a mobile phone? Do you want the, uh, double glazing or something like that? Yeah. It's like that I'm too stupid to know that I need a new mobile phone. I don't need you to phone me up and tell me that I need a mobile phone or tell me I need a new contract. I'm bright enough to go out there and do it. So that's what really winds me up. But what I just did then, yeah, was when I said, do not phone me back, they are legally obligated to remove you off their database. That's the law. Even though I'm on the telephone preference service, which reduces the amount of nuisance phone calls I get, you'll always get the odd one or two that slip through the net. But if you tell them at the end of the call, do not phone me back, they're legally obligated to remove you from the system. So just remember that. I hate calls like that. It annoys the crap out of me. Anyway, 
enough of that. Anyway, just before anybody says you answered your phone while you're driving, I have got a hands free and I did press it on my thing. So that is hands free through my magic thing on my phone. Anyway, now I've had the rant about that, I'll tell you where I am. I'm on the traffic lights of Hornby Road and uh, I don't know what road that is. I'll see it in a second. This traffic light seems to be taking a long time. I'm seem to be at the bottom of Hornby Road anyway. Right by the uh, Lions Grill and Bar. I've no idea what that is. There must be some new bars. These traffic lights seem to have taken an awful long time. And uh, right opposite me is the old 103 Cafe, which is no longer open. So I'm just heading to, I think that's Palatine, no it's not Palatine though, is it? I've got the hotel and apartment social club on my left hand side. Does that help you to work out where I am? That's Coronation, <coughs> Coronation Street, I've just come off. Now I'm heading to, I'm on Reeds Avenue. And I'm just going to turn very quickly onto Central Drive and then I'm going to take a ride onto Chapel Street. And then you'll all know where I am then, won't you? Because I said I'm on Reeds Avenue at the moment, still a lot of hotels around Reeds Avenue. And right directly in front of me, you can't see it at the moment, is the, uh, the King Edward pub. I've been in there. It's quite nice, actually. You know, I'm not a drinker, you know that, but I have been in there a couple of times when friends have come down from the Midlands, and it's not a bad pub. It's considering the area it's in, you would expect it to be rougher, but it's actually quite friendly. So Central Drive, and now I'm turning right onto Chapel Street. And on my right hand side is the new car park, which looks like it's going to be open very, very, very soon. It looks nearly done. I, I assume they're going to try and open it for Easter. Don't quote me on that, but that could be true. Anyway, so I'm now on Chapel Street, so you know exactly where I am now. I'm just going to head towards the arcade now. So, guys. If you like this reversal way of me doing a drive round video, where I actually drive and I tell you where I am, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you agree with me when it comes to the bloody people, these foreigners who phone you up, and they try and say, hello, my name is David. No, your name's not David at all. And they try and work out, they try and make out the phone from Stoke on Trent when they're really phoning from some foreign country. It just drives me mad. And it's got nothing to do with the race thing. It's what it's to do with, it's to do with why are you phoning me when I don't want you to phone me? That's what it's to do with. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, that's my channel. See you later, guys. And thanks for watching. And hopefully, as I said on the, uh, what date was that? The third of April, please keep that in your diary to remind me at 9.30 in the morning, my teeth should be ready. So then I'll have a big smiley teeth, smiley face. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.